Hello kids, it's uh, Daddy Donut from Sweden. Today I'm here with a very famous dinosaur. You probably know what it's called. Triceratops. Trixie Triceratops doesn't like pork chops. She is the vegetable eating kind. Look at her. Triceratops was a dinosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous period. That was the same time as the T-Rex were around. And uh, it was 65, 67 million years ago. And that was just before the dinosaurs went extinct. So Triceratops here, along with T-Rex, was one of the last dinosaurs standing. And uh, Triceratops means three-horned face, I think. And, uh, it was because it had three horns on its face, so it was a very fitting name. Three Horn Faceosaurus, you could also call it. And I wonder what they had the horns for. Maybe the horns on the forehead was for fending off T-Rexes. And uh, maybe they also gathered fruit with their horns to bring along if they were going on a long picnic. Like a, like a skewer, you know. That would have been great. Yes. But the nose horn, I'm not so sure about that. That was so short, useless for gathering fruit. Maybe they had it for, you know, maybe they helped other dinosaurs pick their noses with that horn. It was very difficult for many dinosaurs to pick their own noses. And uh, then perhaps Triceratops here could help them out. If that's correct, then you could probably see a lot of Triceratops running around dinosaur land with melons and uh, pumpkins on their forehead and uh, a lot of snot on their nose horn. Blech. But maybe it was a good thing. I mean, if a T-Rex came and was attacking the Triceratops and tried to eat him, I bet he would lose his appetite pretty quickly when he saw that nose horn full of buggers. <laughs> There you have it, the famous Triceratops knot. Uh, uh, sorry, Triceratops. Oh. Tricks, 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 Tricks,